Unraveling the phrase, drive at something, a guide to English expressions. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're going to explore the phrase, drive at something. This is a common expression in English, but it can be a bit tricky to understand for learners. Our goal is to make it clear and easy for you, so let's get started. When we say someone is driving at something, we're not talking about driving a car. Instead, this phrase is a metaphorical way to express that a person is trying to convey a point or an argument. It's about the underlying message or goal that someone is trying to reach with their words or actions. For example, if someone says a lot during a meeting, but it's not clear what their main point is, you might ask them, what are you driving at? You're asking them to clarify their main goal or point. To understand this phrase better, let's look at some examples. One, in a debate, I hear your points, but what are you really driving at with your argument? Two, in everyday conversation, if someone is giving you a lot of advice about healthy eating, you might say, I appreciate all the tips, but what are you driving at? Are you saying I should become a vegetarian? These examples show how the phrase is used to seek clarification about the underlying intention or main point someone is trying to make. Now that you know what it means, you might wonder how you can start using drive at something in your own English conversations. Here are a few tips. Use it when you need clarification about someone's main point. It's perfect for formal and informal discussions alike, especially when the conversation is deep or complex. Remember, it's a polite way to ask someone to be more specific about their intentions or conclusions. Understanding phrases like drive at something can really help you grasp the nuances of English and make your conversations richer. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting expression and that you'll feel more confident using it in your own English language journey. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.